Hello friends, my name is Sandeep Singh and welcome to the BASP solution. So in this today's session, I'm going to explain you that how you can load the metadata I, metadata of one of the custom dimension that is item from the net suite to the PBCS application. So for this purpose, you are required to log in your to your net suite instance. If you go within the NetSuite, under the search window, you will uh, going to find all the list of all the available safe searches. So if you are going to type under the search window PBCS, you will find the list of all the available safe searches. So here you can see that we do have a uh, safe searches list of if you want to load the exchange rate, if you want to load the metadata, if you want to load the income statement transaction number. So all the list of all the available safe searches is there. You are required to modify uh, whatever the requirement you have and uh, make a copy of it by giving it uh, your own name uh, to the list of available safe searches. So we are loading here the metadata item. So PBCS sync metadata item. Uh, you are required to edit uh, the available safe search and uh, create a copy of it by giving your own name and modifying if you uh, don't want any field of uh, uh, net suite. Uh, if you don't want any field of uh, net suite, uh, to the PBCS, you do have the option that you can uh, uh, modify the safe search, uh, modify the available safe searches and give your own name as per your requirement. So I have modified this safe searches and I have given my own name of uh, my safe searches. So I have added the prefix of E with to the available safe searches. So these are all the safe searches which I have modified. And in this case, we are loading the metadata item. So you can see that we do have the safe searches by EPBCS sync metadata item. So if I go within the uh, safe searches, you will find the uh, list of all the item with uh, item with their alias what the data storage property what is the uh, parent member what is the type so now we are going we are going to load this uh, metadata item into our pbcs application so for that purpose you are required to log into your pbcs application then you are required to go within the dm so under the data management you are required to go within the setup and register your source system. In this case, our source system will be NSPBE. So I have uh, created my source system that is NSPBE. So you can see that our source system name is NSPBE. Our source system type is NetSuite. And under the drill through U URL, I have given the instance of NetSuite instance of URL. URL. So once you uh, create the source system, then you are required to configure the source connection. Under the source connection, you are required to give your user ID, password, and your uh, URL of uh, NetSuite. Once you input all these uh, authentication type, then you are required to hit the configure button so the connection will be established with the uh, NetSuite. And once your confirmation, once you will get the confirmation, then you are required to hit the initialize button so that uh, uh, initialization will begin. Here it is asking you to add a prefix to your, uh, to, uh, all the system created artifacts. So I have added the prefix here, SS underscore. This is the prefix that I have added. Now hit the OK button. 
So you can see that the process has been submitted to initialize the source system. Now go uh, to the workflow and check the status of the process of initialization. So go within the process detail. Here you are seeing that the uh, currently the status is coming into the gray color. Uh, refresh uh, this load. So once your color will change into the green, then it means that your connection has been established. After the connection has been established with the NetSuite application, then you are required to create the target application. So here the target uh, target application, you can, add, uh, you can create your own target application by uh, hitting the add button. In this case, we are, uh, we are creating the uh, target of four dimension. So I have already uh, uh, created my target uh, target uh, uh, target application. So you can see that we do have this is my target application. That is. SS underscore and uh, NSPB sin custom custom dimension. And uh, here I have selected the properties of the item. So I have selected the alias default, the property data storage property, member name, and the parent you you are required to select according to the requirement. Once your target application has been configured, then you are required to go within the import format and you are required to build the import format. So uh, in my case, I have pre prepared the import format that is IMF dem item. This is the import format that I have created for loading the metadata item. So you can see that the import format name is IMF dem item. My target is what the safe searches I have given my own name that is SS EPBCS sync metadata item and my target is SS NSPB sync custom. So here you are required to map the target with the source column. So you can see that I have mapped the target of alias default with the source column alias default the data storage with the data storage the member name with the child and the parent with the parent. In this manner, you are required to do the mapping. Once the import format has been built, then go within the location. Under the location, you are required to create a location by hitting on the add on button. So in my case, the I have created the location for dimension item. So this is the name of my location. And this I have associated with my import format. That is, this is my import format, import IMF dim item. Once you, uh, once you create the location, then you are required to go within the period mapping and you are required to do the <clears throat> source mapping uh, within the period mapping. So here in this case, I have given uh, the period that is Jan 19 calendar for calendar CL, the GL year will be my application started from 2019. So I have given the GL year 2019. GL period is Jan and GL period number is one. Here I have given the mapping type that is explicit. So this will get the preference over the global mapping. Now go within the category mapping. Under the category mapping, I have defined the my category is actual in case you are loading for budget then you can get, uh, prepare your category and you can map the category with the target category once the category uh, uh, category you have defined then you are required to go within the workflow tab and here under the workflow tab you are required to do the data load mapping so under the data load mapping, so before uh, before mapping, ma make sure that you are into the correct location. So here the location is location data beginning balance. 
uh, we need to select our location what we have created so the hit the search button you will find all the location what have what have been built so in our case it is a location dem item this is the location we have created for loading the metadata of item then select the parent so you now see you that the location has been changed period is jan 19 category we have defined that is actual source is nspb and target is nspb sin custom now you are required to do the dimension mapping so under the dimension you are finding these field so for alias default we have done the like mapping that uh, whatever in the source the shape the same should go within the target uh, similarly for the data storage uh, the source value should go within the target for member also we have done the like mapping and for parent also we have done the like mapping so once you uh, once you do the data load mapping then you are required to create the data load rule so go within the data load rule and create a data load rule by uh, going into the add button so i have created my data load rule that is load rule dem item here you are required to select the category the period mapping and you are required to give the calendar CL. So uh, after uh, creating the data load rule, then you are required to execute this data load rule. So once I execute this, uh, then you are required to select import from source, export to target and it is the start period and end period is Jan 19. It will remain. You are not required to do anything here. Just run this data load rule. So you can see you will get the message that the process has been submitted for extraction. Now you can check the status of uh, uh, of your process by going into within the process detail. And it is uh, currently it is the status is in gray once it will complete it will convert into the green green color you will get the uh, right tick mark so you see that uh, this is the indication that your load has been successful you can go within the data load workbench and under the data load workbench you will find the three golden fish this means that your uh, this means that your metadata has been loaded successfully within the within your net suite application uh, within your pbcs application now uh, coming back to our application we can check the uh, details of all the item by going within the dimension of item so under the item the, this is our custom dimension under the total item i will get the detail of uh, all the item that is within the net suite so uh, we will check that uh, as per net, uh, net suite the item is item underscore 267 the same should come within our um, within our application that is item 267 is coming under the category of service under the inventory we should get uh, the item underscore 964 so if i go within the inventory the item 964 should come so you can see that the item 964 is uh, added to our netsuite application so uh, this is the way of uh, loading the uh, a list of available safe searches from the NetSuite to the PBCS application. Uh, this is how you can load. So 
that's it from my side in case of any question or support please feel free to visit to our website that is www.bispsolutions.com thank you very much for watching this video thank you